Hi guys, this is Ev Zervardakis again, and I thank you all for following me and liking these videos. Look what came across my desk. You need to look at this. If it's too advanced, it's okay, but for those of you that follow, you'll appreciate what an astrologer does on a daily basis. But this is so fascinating to me. I just love looking at charts. I'm just uh, obsessed and a little compulsive, but check this out, all right? I'm going to show you the chart. So there was a question that was sent to me, and they said, oh, the transiting, uh, right here is a transiting, Mercury and Sun is um, hitting or opposing my Mercury Sun in my natal house. So let me show you what's going on here. So this inner wheel here, the inner wheel with all this stuff going on, is the natal chart. The outer wheel, okay, is the transiting. That's live time planet action. So I wrote a little response over here. But um, so this is a triple conjunction, tr transiting triple conjunction with Neptune, the sun, and Mercury in the sign of Pisces. So, you know, that could mean a whole bunch of stuff, but it could be non-structured communication uh, or magical communication or um, any kind of, let's say, maybe even escape, uh, escapism or cloudy and confusing communication, all right, because of, of uh, Mercury. But because Neptune is involved with uh, Pisces too, it could even be deception or people... Uh, crying the blues, being a victim. Then it also is conjuncting a conjunction with the natal black moon Lilith in Aries, which is a disassociation because it's uh, in a different sign. So that could mean some aggression. And then opposing over here, the natal Mercury, Mercury in Libra, when it comes to one-on-one -on -one communications, it could affect her personally too. It's a wide orb, but you see what else is going on? But look, look at all this other stuff. She's got a square over here to her quadruple conjunction, and you're going to say, well, that's a stellium. Actually, it's a quadruple conjunction in Capricorn and Sagittarius in the second house. So this has to do with worth, values, and money. But there's a trine, south node trine, to this whole uh, transiting configuration here and a sextile um, right here to Mars and part of fortune in the eighth house. Shared resources, uh, greatest joy, success, and prosperity, probably making more money or whatever. So there is a discussion we need to have, and um, that's just the beginning. So uh, this is a fascinating thing, and this is what my students learn, is they look at the chart, and if it's above their head, they know enough to say, hey, can you give me some clarification? Um, so all of you, when you learn your astrology, you'll be able to decode this and figure out what's going on. And then you'll get some coping skills or see how it is affecting your chart. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, send me some comments. Uh, share this with your like-minded astrology enthusiasts. And I'll talk to you later. All the best, my guys. Bye.